Hello, I don't know if you can see, but let's get, let's, let's get, let's go. I spy my little eye something that's blue. <coughs> yep, the ocean. You win again. This game is getting kind of boring. Hey, a message in a bottle. Dear Tim and Moby, my mom said you might get this message if I put it in the ocean. How can this happen? From Vivian. From Vivian, Vivian, does your, does your mom, mom know that we got, that we shipwrecked, got shipwrecked? And that, and that we've been drifting been around aimlessly for, for a week? Please, please tell your mom, your mom to, call to call the Coast, Coast Guard. Guard. I'm, I'm extremely hungry, hungry out, here. out here. What do you mean she doesn't, she doesn't know? know? She's asking She's about, about ocean, ocean currents? currents? <laughs> <sighs> Alright. All right. The waters of the world's ocean are always on the move. Ocean, Ocean currents, currents help, help ships, ships animals, animals, and bottles, and bottles move around, around the globe. The, globe. the, ocean, the ocean can be thousands, thousands of meters deep, deep. But, surface but surface currents only, only affect the uppermost upper 100, 100 or 200. Two. Sorry guys, I have to pause real quick because um, I have to write something down. So I'm just gonna talk. So hope they saw the last video because it's pretty cool. Oh my god! So oh, it just keep posting. This is not my channel though. It's my first channel. Oh, I messed up. I wish I guys could show you. <coughs> so coffee. Okay, I'm done now, so let's get back. 200 meters of water. Fortunately, I brought my map of ocean surface currents with me. If you look closely, you'll see that the currents actually move in large circular patterns called gyres. And each gyre is bordered by one or more continents. Sorry, so I have to write the gyre's definition. Guys, uh -huh. um, this video is not gonna be that long because uh, I'm just trying to make a quick little video for you guys. Okay, let's get back. Surface currents Surface are mainly, currents caused, are mainly by caused by wind. You might not know, might not know this, but this, some winds some blow across the ocean in the ocean same direction, direction all year round. The rotation, the rotation of the of earth causes the winds winds to winds deflect to off to the right, off to the right, right in the northern, northern hemisphere, hemisphere and, and deflect off to the left in the southern hemisphere. This is called the Coriolis effect. That makes gyres. Sorry, I have to write something. This is my school, but I'm just trying to do this real fast. Surface currents are mainly caused by wind. Surface currents are This might be the longest one you can tell me. So we're just gonna do like two videos today because we're trying to do. Huh? I don't talk about people's mom. Wait, this is kid friendly. Kid friendly. Hope you guys didn't hear that. It's my thing though. Hey, am I supposed to do this already? Yeah. I didn't do it. It's not that fun. Hope you guys can hear it. I'm almost finished. Let me just get this last one. 
Okay, and go. It says rotate clockwise above the equator and counterclockwise below. Surface currents have a major effect on climate and weather conditions. If you look at the map, you'll see that Paris, France is at about the same latitude as Montreal, Canada. But winters in Paris are a heck of a lot nicer than winters in Montreal. Parisians can thank a current called the Gulf Stream for that. It delivers warm water from the tropics to Western Europe. In the North Atlantic, the, North the Gulf Atlantic, Stream radiates Gulf heat, into, radiates the heat into the atmosphere. That's why the winters are warmer, the in, winters France. Are warmer in France. Currents can make for colder, make climates, for too. colder climates, too. Hawaii is located Hawaii in the tropics, located but its climate is slightly cooler, cooler than other tropical, other tropical locations, locations since the California since current the California brings cool water south. Cool water south. <laughs> yeah, it'd be yeah, nice if we drifted ashore nice in Hawaii. Anyway, deep beneath the ocean surface, there's another current system. It's not powered by wind at all, but by temperature and density. Remember the Gulf Stream? What are you talking about? I just described it like 30 seconds ago. Well, like I said, in the North Atlantic, the warm waters of the Gulf Stream radiate heat into the atmosphere. This loss of energy causes the water to cool off until it's almost freezing. Cold water is denser than warm water, so the surface water soon begins sinking. Millions of liters of water sink in the North Atlantic every day, but they can't just pile up there. They have to flow somewhere else. So when the cold water gets two or three kilometers down, it starts moving south. It flows all the way to Antarctica, and starts flowing. North again. North again. In the Pacific, the in water the Pacific, starts warming up and, and returns to the surface. It flows back into the Atlantic into Ocean, the Atlantic where it joins Ocean, up once again with the Gulf Stream. Once the Gulf Stream. And once the Gulf Stream and waters the Gulf Stream reach the North Atlantic, they North lose Atlantic, heat and sink. And, and the whole and process, and starts, the whole over process again. starts over again. Because this current because system loops all the way around the globe, it's sometimes called the global conveyor belt. The belt moves very slowly. It can take a thousand years. It can take a thousand years. For water to make the full circuit around the, the earth. circuit around the earth. Land, Moby, we're Land. saved. Moby, we're saved. Woo, we made it. Woo, we made it. Oh, God. Rat. Rat. <sighs> okay, guys, so that's it. Hope you guys like it. This will be in the link in the description so you guys can watch.